Hello and welcome to Video Graphics with Dr. Doris. I'm Eric Doris. Today we're going to review my podcasting and voiceover kit. This kit includes a mic compressor, a studio mic, a studio mic stand, and shock mount, a set of headphones, and an HD webcam. This kit is great for beginners because it's simple and affordable. It's also a very good quality setup. Now first, let's start with the sound compressor. It's the Tube Ultra Gain Mic 500 USB by Behringer. This has high-end pre-amplification for all microphone, instrument, and line level sources. It's specifically designed for studio grade condenser mics, so it's perfect for this setup. It perfectly matches your studio live and hard disk recording setup. In fact, the ultra flexible preamp modeling allows you to optimize your recordings. Choose between 16 preamp voicings designed for electric and acoustic guitars, keyboards, bass guitars, drums, vocals, and more. So if you also want to use this for music recording, you can. It has a built-in USB audio interface to connect directly to your computer. It comes with free audio recording, editing, and podcasting software, plus 150 instrument effect plugins downloadable at Behringer.com, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, what's also awesome is the price, just $69. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Next is the studio microphone. Now, this is the Audio Technica. AT2020 Cardioid Condenser Studio XLR Microphone. The price and performance are standard in side address studio condenser microphone technology. It's ideal for home studio project applications. The noise level is 20 dB SPL. High SPL handling and wide dynamic range provide unmatched versatility. The custom engineered low mass diaphragm provides extended frequency response and superior transient response. It has a cardioid polar pattern that reduces pickup of sounds from the sides and the rear, improving isolation of the desired sound source. The output connector is an integral 3-pin XLR-M type. Black speckles on the mic uh, make up the finish of the item, and the audio technical case is an R7. This awesome mic goes for just $99, and believe me, it's worth every penny. Now, when it comes to a studio mic stand, you need a good quality stand that gives flexibility, noise reduction, and stability. Uh, you also want a good shock mount. Now, mine came in a bundle with my studio mic and headphones, so they are generic, okay? But I would like to recommend one that looks very much like this. It's the Neewer NW35 Metal Suspension Boom Scissor Arm Stand and Built-in XLR Male to Female Cable Shock Mount and Table Mounting Clamp. At just $23.99, it's a great deal, and it's so flexible and compliant that I can trust it to do pretty much whatever I want it to do. And, you know, when you're trying to record and do this sort of thing, that's what you want. And as you can see, it's, it's staying where I want it to be. It has a foldable armband. The adjustable arm can be folded up and easy for you to carry around and allow you to adjust to suitable angles and height to show off your perfect voice. Now remember to loosen the knob first before adjusting the angle of the stand. Um, do not rotate it by force, of course, otherwise the screw threads may be damaged. The shock mount uh, diameter is 1.7 to 2.0 um, and it has an all steel construction so it's both sturdy and durable. Now the maximum load is approximately uh, 40, uh, 53 ounces. It can be mounted on the announcer's table like I have it here with table mounting clamp which is included. It's ideal for radio broadcasting studio, voiceover, sound studio, or a podcast. Now the XLR male to female microphone cable is already installed and hidden inside the boom arm uh, tubing enhancing the scissor suspension microphone stands overall appearance. Okay, now. For the headphones, I like the Tascam TH-02 uh, closed back studio headphones. Uh, they de deliver a sound you have to hear to believe, and at the low price, you can't ignore. The sensitivity and frequency response deliver clear, balanced sound for all your favorite tunes, regardless of genre or application. 
It, produ it produces a pristine high clear end mid range and rich low end, whereas some other headphones might leave you yearning for more, if you know what I mean. It features plush, cushioned ear cuffs and a padded headband so that you can, you know, put the work in hours um, without, you know, any discomfort. Uh, it offers a full 90 degree rota uh, rotation and the price is just $17.95. Now, for the webcam, we have the uh, 1536p full HD webcam by Besteker with uh, uh, 1080 wide angle camera microphones. It's great for widescreen video calling and it's great for recording with facial enhancement technology for desktop or laptop. It provides crystal clear, true to life video. Uh, 264 video compression technology provides fast and smooth uploads for your videos. The built-in dual digital microphones ensure natural stereo sound with crystal clear audio while greatly reducing background noise. It has an automatic low light correction, exceptional image quality, even in dim or harsh lighting, so it improves night vision. It even has an adjustable stand that can be mounted on a tripod or the top of your laptop. It's compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10, and above, as well as Mac OS 10.6 and above. It supports Chrome OS, Smart TV, and TV Box Android 5.0 or later. And it's only $59.99. So, let's recap. The kit includes a mic compressor, a studio mic, a studio mic stand, a set of headphones, and an HD webcam. The mic compressor is the Tube Ultra Gain Mic 500 USB by Behringer for $69, which is a steal if you ask me. The studio mic is a Audio Technical AT2020 Cardioid Condenser X, uh, Studio XLR microphone for just $99. The studio mic stand is the Niwar uh, NW35 metal suspension boom scissor arm stand with built-in XLR male to female cable, shock mount and table mounting clamp for $23.99. The set of headphones is a Tascam uh, TH02 closed back studio head headphones with uh, for $17.95. And the HD webcam Besteker is um, uh, with camera and dual microphones is $59. 99. By the way, I left my links in the comments section below, so you can look these things up by clicking on the links if you want. Now, I plan to make more product review videos, so you can set yourself up with a good video starter kit for your videos. Remember, this is all for beginners. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please click on the like button if you did enjoy it, and uh, give me your feedback, please, in, you know, in the comments section, and while you're at it, why not subscribe? <laughs> okay, until next time, take care.